Hello Terraria Enthusiasts, my name is James and today we are continuing on with our yo-yo challenge only series. Now in today's episode we're going for a few yo-yos and we're also going for just a little bit of progression. So this episode kind of relies on farming for the Hellfire, which we did try in last episode, and farming for a skeleton merchant because the skeleton merchant is going to sell us a format C and a gradient. So that's two yo-yos right there and he'll sell the yo-yo glove, which we can turn into the yo-yo bag. So all of these will take a little bit of time because I'm going to have to wait for a skeleton merchant, and then I'm going to have to wait to see if his uh, you know, inventory has to change, and that'll take another 24 minutes. Um, and then farming for the hellfire will take a bit of time. But we can also get the Sheik pretty well, and uh, the Sheik is crafted with one wooden yo-yo, 15 crystals, and 10 souls of light. So that's actually pretty cheap. But the problem is we need a mithril anvil for that and we've not done any sort of mining just yet. So I think today's episode will be Hellfire, Gradient, Format C and the Yo-Yo Bag. And then we can continue on into hard mode and uh, I'll have to do all the mining at some point which is going to take forever. But I think I can do most of that off camera because I know you guys like to um, skip all that boring mining. So I'm going to go down and search for a skeleton merchant and I'll cut back in if I find one. Just real quick, so a lot of people email me and they ask me, Hey Chippy, do you have any ideas for how to find a skeleton merchant? And my plan always is prepare in advance for him. So for example, we know we need one today, but I also know I need to farm. So I can farm in this little cavern area and we can still get the hellfire from that. But there's also a chance that a skeleton merchant might appear. So the skeleton merchant will appear when you're least expecting it. He'll just kind of pop up as long as you're in kind of a cavern area. So if we kind of like do our farming, then we're doing one thing. And we also have the chance of finding a skeleton merchant. So we're doing another thing. So by preparing in advance, it makes the wait a little easier. But there are no tips for actually getting a skeleton merchant. You just have to kind of be patient and be a little bit lucky. Um, but staying in one area, moving kind of like in small motions like this, like I'm just stood around killing enemies, this can usually help a little bit. So I hope that helps anybody that's uh, kind of struggling with that. So just plan in advance. Alright, so up here, as you can see up here, I found one of the big corruption uh, mimics. Now, I don't think we have uh, the tools to fight this thing. I think it will kind of kill us, to be honest. And though, to be honest, although it's going to, like, it's a really good item... Like, it's a really good enemy, but I don't think it's going to drop anything we need in particular. So what I might do is I may try and... The thing is, it can escape, can't it? So I'm going to try this. Um, hopefully I don't wing this too much and it ruin, it messes up. Um, let's kill off this bat. So I'm going to try this knowing full well I don't think it will work. Um, but may as well try it as well. Um, right, so I'm going to get real close like this. Alright, might activate the moment I open that now. Okay. Alright, I don't know if it's going to do its dash ability to me, because they can move. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, it's moved. So yeah, I think I messed this one up. Yeah, they move They move way too quick and way too strong. Um, oh, and the problem is I don't have much healing to do. Yeah, yeah, I think I've kind of bulked this one up. Oh, he's regenerating. This may be a good time to uh, run away. And we lost it, but it's okay. It's only two gold. Yeah, those things really are deadly. If you join in hard mode, um, you don't really have a chance against those dudes. Okay, we uh, we found one. Uh, it's really dark though. Come here, let me just light this up. Uh, we need to keep him here for a while in case he doesn't sell what we need to. So I'm also going to put up... Uh, let's see. Please don't get shy and start moving away. Uh, I'm also going to put up this. Right, so let's see what he sells. Stay away from the spiders. They'll suck out your insides and leave a hollow shell of a man. Trust me on this one. Right, so he sells the glove, which is one thing that we need. So 50 gold for that. He also sells the format C, which is 20 gold, uh, which does 35 melee damage. So that is more than ours. Oh, yeah, but we've got godly on this. So, mm. right. And then that is all we actually need from him for a little while. So it's currently... Uh, so, wow, we've got a little bit of time to wait, actually. So it's currently 5 or almost 6 o'clock. When it's 4.30 the next day, we can see what else he sells. So I'm going to um, wait for that, and uh, we'll hopefully get another yo-yo. Okay, so I had to leave my computer running a little bit of time for this one. Um, I kept coming back and checking if he sold a new yo-yo. And then I read up it's to do with the moon phases, so this may be the start of a new moon phase, or I'm going to have to wait a little bit longer. Yes! We got a gradient. 
And he's selling the blue counterweight today. That's not bad. We got a green counterweight. I don't know why there are so many different colored counterweights. It makes no sense to me. Demonic Gradient. Right, so that was Yo-Yo 9 and 10, which is awesome. So that's two Yo-Yos today. That's one of the things I want to do. Now we can go make the Yo-Yo bag and we can work on getting the Hellfire. And that's going to make getting the Hellfire a little bit easier. So let's go back to the house. Um, let's go back to the house now. And let's see... Oh man, I'm so happy with them two yo-yos. That is not bad for today. That's all I wanted to actually get done today. And we're only at the start of the episode, thanks to video editing. Right, so this is... Let me just check the order. Right, so it goes Format C and then Gradient. Oh wow, I got Demonic on both. What the hell? <laughs> I was just like, what? I was like, one's Demonic and I was looking around. Alright, so this one can go on because we we're not using this one. That can go on straight away. This one could be sold, although I'd rather sell. Well, actually, I'd rather sell the godly one because it sells some more. Um, and then the gradient is next, but we're not going to sell the gradient because we're going to keep it for a little bit. I don't think I'm going to reforge this one because the thing is we're not going to be using it for too long. So I'm going to leave that one as it is. Right, okay. So that's, that's super duper awesome. So let's go and sell this one. Let's go down here. Hello, Clothier. here. Can we sell you a yo-yo? Thank you, you can take my cascade. It served us so well though. It served us really, really well. It's a yo-yo I'm very proud of. It's just like the Amazon in my book. Like, it stuck with us for a really long time. Okay, so let's go to our um, our little station over here. Yep, I still haven't moved over the, um, the crafting station just yet. <laughs> Alright, so string and a counterweight. I can now make, bam, the yo-yo bag. Boom, armoured. We want this warding, so this is actually one that we're going to have to reforge anyway. Wow, so we get another accessory slot. Let's go with... Let's go with the magma stone. That's nice. Right, so let's see if we've got our, uh, our goblin on the map. We do. Right, so let's go up to the goblin. Let's go get this reforged, because we want it warding. We want all of our accessories warding. But we definitely know that the yo-yo bag is one that we're going to keep until the end. So it's kind of important to get it done now. Oh, it's expensive though. Come on, fingers crossed people. Fingers crossed. Oh, can you see the savings going down? Warding. There we go. That's actually kind of nice. Um, is there anything else that we need to move to warding? Now, I don't think I'm going to be... Yeah, I don't think I really need to do this one. How, the... How cheap is it though? Four gold? Fleeting? Plus four melee speed? Yeah, I'll take that. That's not a bad re, uh, reforge at all, actually. And I think this dude has a little bit more money for us, actually. Let's see. Seven gold. Wow. Wow, that is nice. Okay. So let's uh, quick stack that in. Right, so now it's just down to uh, farming for the Hellfire. So the thing is, because we're not actually looking for a skeleton merchant anymore, we can actually go and do this in Hell again. Alright, so when I farm for uh, the Hellfire, I'm doing it here because a really great advantage of doing it here is that we're below the Hallowed. So, like, when we need the um, the Souls of Light for the Sheik, um, we'll already have them because as I do it under here, like, you, I think it's like this area here, you get the chance of a Soul of Light. Yeah, like that. So I can do this for a little while, get, like, quite a lot of Souls of Light, and then I could do it at the uh, Souls of Night area as well. So then I can, like, farm for that. So that's like doing two things in one. That feels pretty good. Okay, so I didn't manage to get it on camera, but I finally got a Hellfire yo-yo. Um, I just want to show you guys, look how many banners I have, right? This is how many banners it took. No joke, right? It took, like, on, I think, I think now, like, fully completed, it's like a free four-hour grind session for this. Um, come here, I'll show it off for one second. So that is the, sure, I don't know, it's, I think it's the 11th. See, my little, uh, my little overlay will know. Uh, where is it? Yeah, I got a weak one. So we're gonna, um, we're gonna reforge that a little bit. And then we're going to use it. So let's go back to the house. Uh, let's turn off auto pause. Let's go back to the house. And um, what we'll do is we'll uh, we're going to come back for them heart statues eventually. But what I'll do is I'll come and sort out these chests up here. Now the house is not done. Somebody pointed that out in uh, yesterday's episode. Um, no, the house is not complete. I need to um, sort out the backgrounds and stuff and um, light up this area and do some of the rooms and give them all a personal touch. But for now, it's you know I'm liking it. Right, okay. Oh, so that's been resprited. That's nice. Right, so I don't know what these come under. 
Right, because uh, what do you what do you class these as? Summons? Probably summons, right? Come here, we'll put them in here. We'll call them summons. I think I actually have a few of these, so what I'll do is I'll move the guides into there as well. I have a few guides somewhere else, so I'll grab these other guides. Um, here they are. They're in accessories because they are technically an accessory. Um, so I'll take all of these guides, put them all into summons, because then, like, now we have a nice little chest for it, like for everything. Right. Open this up as well. We'll put this inside, and we'll take all of these. Um, and I think that's it. That is all my summons, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. Right, so now that we've done that, the next area we have to get is the Amarok. And the Amarok is the one we're going to be using to actually do our next fight, which is going to be... I'm not sure which mech boss it's going to be yet, but it's going to be one of the mech bosses. So um, we need to go get the Amarok next, and then that is it until the mech boss. And then once we get the mech boss, I think we like we get like another little path of like two or three more yo-yos. Um, and then it's like a few more bosses, and then, you know, one more or two more. Right, so let's reforge this. Damaged, hurtful, hurtful, Zelius. Hmm. See, I want to go for. Wow, that's that's rubbish. Why do I keep getting the same ones? Weak and Zelius, broken. Oh my god, what is damaged, weak, unpleasant? Hmm, unpleasant is nice, but oh my god, look at this damage, broken, damaged, keen. Keen's not bad. Superior will do. I'd rather have Godly though, to be honest. But I guess we'll have to call that a day there. That is a uh, that is a lot of reforging, isn't it? Right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put my uh, I'm going to put my gradient on here. Bam. So that's halfway to completion right there. So yeah, this was the eleventh one. Halfway. That's not bad. Right. So now what we need to do is we need to go buy the uh, the leaf wings because uh, I said we do that. And um, after that. We're going to go smash some shadow orbs, and then that's going to be it for today's episode. And then in tomorrow's episode, we're going to do some farming. We're going to get some yo-yos. Oh, it's going to be brilliant. Oh, my God. <laughs> right, so I'm going to jump cut ahead until we get our witch doctor. Okay, so we're here. So let's get our wings. So leaf wings. Right, cool. Um, ooh, what should we replace with? Probably the magma stone, because we don't really need that yet. What's that brisk that's not bad the problem with these with these wings are they're like 40 gold to reforge like it's a lot of gold to reforge them so um it may be worth see i want to do one reforge real quick i want to try one reforge because we've got a few things that are free now so we don't need to be buying any more yo-yos so let's do one reforge on this let's try get some good Hasty, one more. Should we do one more? Oh, we're out anyway. We're only got 12 gold left. So, free movement speed. I guess that will do. I guess that's not too bad. Um, that will be fine. Right, so now we have to go destroy some shadow orbs. So, we've got a big bit of... Um, well, we've got a big bit here that we can probably destroy. So, let's go and um, smash some... They're not called shadow orbs. They're called demon altars, and I've been getting them wrong. Right, so let's go and smash some demon altars. Okay. And then when we smash that, that's going to be the end of the episode. And then tomorrow is going to be a fun one. Because like I say, we're going to get the Amarok. And we're also going to get um, some armor. So we're going to do some uh, mining, get some armor. It's going to be like a, a really big progression episode. And then after that, we'll see how fast we can do um, some of the bosses. Because after that, we've kind of got all the accessories that we need. I mean, there are some things we need to do, like farm the wall of flesh and such. Um, but eventually, you know, we should be fine. All right, so let's jump down here. Okay, we've got to be careful because there are going to be hard mode enemies and we still haven't got great armor at all. Right, so let's start smashing away. That's one. So, Cobalt. Or oh, Rakalka, please buy, please buy Titanium. Oh, it's Adamantite. Not good. It's just not as good as Titanium. It really isn't. Right, so let's smash more of these. Okay, Race should be pretty easy to get rid of. Race are like really early hard mode enemies, I find. Because they're meant to spawn straight away, so I think the game kind of gives you these ones a little bit easier. Alright, but let's not get overwhelmed, because they do come in high numbers. And I like that these come to protect the uh, the altars as well. I, I think that's a really nice feature. Oh my god. Whoa. Okay. Alright, you lot. Get killed. Get killed. 
Okay. Alright, so every time you do this, you do get a little bit more ore in the world. But we'll uh, call it a day here. So that'll be the last one. Alright, so let's go back to the house. And that's going to do it for today's episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Free yo-yos. That's not bad. We haven't had a run like that since the first ever episode, have we? Um, yeah, that's a, that's a really great amount. And I actually got the plumber's hat. I don't know if you've seen that yet. But I got the plumber's hat. That's kind of rare. But then again, we did kill enough enemies to make it not rare. All right, that's going to do it for today's episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.